Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another A-level tricky question. This is from another Mad As Maths paper. Do check the website out. I'll leave the link in the description. Some fantastic questions there. And this one is tricky. It's 21. It's the end of a paper question. And let's get into it. If you find it useful, though, please do subscribe. Please do like the video. And um, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go. It's a substitution, and we are given the substitution, which is very useful. We are told that that root x is equal to tan theta. So the first thing I would do whenever I've got a square root in my substitution, I would always square both sides. Much easier dealing with squares than it is square roots. Okay, now I need to differentiate this. Uh, so on the left hand side I'll get dx by d theta and on the right hand side well uh, it might be a bit easier to differentiate it if I write it like this and I'm going to do the chain rule but I'm going to do it uh, quickly without too much notation so the 2 comes down to the front the bracket stays the same the power drops down by 1 and then we multiply by the derivative of the bracket. And the derivative of tan theta is sec squared theta, which is given in your formula booklet. So we get two lots of tan theta sec squared theta. And then I can get dx as the subject by multiplying both sides by d theta. Okay, great. Now I think we're just about ready to um, do our substitution. So I'm going to rewrite it as 1 minus x, and x we know is tan squared theta, all over root x, which we know is tan theta, uh, open brackets, uh, x plus 1, which is tan squared theta plus 1 close brackets squared and then we're multiplying that by dx which we know is 2 lots of tan theta sec squared theta d theta okay great now we're going to hope for um, a fair bit of cancelling here and the first thing I can spot is that we've got a tan squared plus 1. Now, we know one of our identities um, which links tan squared and sec squared could be quite useful here. Just remind ourselves what that identity is. So if I start off with cos squared plus sine squared equals 1, and if I divide through by cos squared, then I'm going to get a sec squared here. And in doing so, I'll have to divide through here by cos squared as well. And this will give me 1 plus, and that will be a tan squared. So tan squared plus 1 is sec squared. Okay, so I can rewrite that in here as sec squared. And then I can do some cancelling. I've got tan theta on the bottom times by tan here. And I've got a sec squared squared uh, on, on the bottom. And I've got a sec squared there. So I can cancel one of those, which will cancel the uh, squared there. And that too is just a constant, so that can go outside of my integral sign. So I have 1 minus tan squared theta over sec squared theta d theta and we can rewrite this as um, well sec squared is 1 over cos squared so if we've got a sec squared on the bottom it's the same as having a cos squared on the top so it's 1 minus tan squared theta cos squared theta and then we can expand out 
So you get a cos squared theta minus and a tan squared times by a cos squared. Well, tan squared is sine squared over cos squared. So that over cos squared will cancel with this cos squared here and just leave me with a sine squared. And hopefully you can spot this trig identity because cos squared minus sine squared is the same as cos 2 theta. It's a double angle formula for cos. Okay, great. Now that is integratable. And to integrate that, we will, um, first off, cos integrates up to sine. And then we take the derivative of the input here, which is 2 theta. Um, and the derivative is 2, and we divide by that, so 1 over 2. And we've still got this 2 outside, and then we have to plus c. So our final answer is sine 2 theta plus c. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel. Please do like the video and let me know in the comments what you want to see me do next. I've got lots more A-level content that way. Check it out. Bye for now.